to. Hey, this is Reuben Wolf Gaming, and we're taking yet again another detour from Resident Evil Village and getting back to bartending. <laughs> another life, I guess. Um, so we're on the third part of Valhalla, and we'll get right to it. So where we left off was uh, back in our apartment after a hard day's work, and we bought a hollow plant. Um, I think we read all the news, just to be sure, and it seems like it does change the what she says. She res she uh, makes a comment on these articles. Um, this one is the one that so somebody got caught out of midair. Yeah, I think it was fantastical too. The shrimp ramen and those purple numbers. What is that about? Yeah, the binary. I'm not really sure what that's about. But uh, yeah, let's get back to work, I guess. Good evening. Hey, Jill. <laughs> That's uh, a sound you don't hear every day. Uh, boss, what what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left and, well, she forgot to take it with her. Figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the count. Uh, wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool, and comfortable and cool and, and uh, really, really cool. Hello. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was- ah! Don't run. You have work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Chi? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The what? Where now? Nothing. <laughs> Never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple of days. If she's somehow relaxed now, good. Are you all set? Yep. Alright. Uh, yeah. So I kind of figured out the jukebox. Um, I think it stops playing after all the, the music or the uh, the tracks are done. So you have to kind of like restart it. Um, yeah, so we, we left up at Dawn Approaches. Um, and we got one more. Base of after that and follow the trail. And okay, I think the the background and sound effects is fine. So, <sighs> all right, time to make drinks and change lives. Hey, Brett, you're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Lucky says, "Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you?" What do you think? I want kid. The usual. Gee, I wonder what he means. It was a, a beer, right? A large beer. Fit for a man. Two flanner guide. Four flanner guide. And then filled to the brim with chemotrine. And it's mixed. We got a beer. Here you go. Yes, now that's what I call a service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking me like the first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. 
was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here, blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday too, how did that come about? There's this gal that's performing at a concert later tonight. Yesterday? I was the details of the interview I'd have with her today. And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of complete... A pack of competitive bitches. I see. How's the interview? Easy enough, the fact that Miguel had a nice pair of knockers helped. We've come a long way in the department at Lilum's sex appeal, I tell you. She was a Lilum then. Yes, one of those new fancy King Class CH1A models. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hmm. Hey you, the guy with a John face. Huh? Me? What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no. I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait. It was the Hong Kong riots ten years ago, right? Uh, I've never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan. Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. So I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors, and those damn riots broke out. Seriously, though, did they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were, op they were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. Once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. This is the PR century. If you're going to do that, disguise it a bit. It's a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor, and the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. And everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests where... On second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. <sighs> scholarship? That's no mean feat, brat. Uh, I guess even without the scholarship, it would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this Chinese idol brand. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You was surprised at how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza-faced pencil neck. <laughs> uh, and I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen with that. Someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well. I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like you suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine, Canto what? <laughs> when people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects of the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you were only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to steal, seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. Right. Uh, anyway, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? <laughs> uh, sure, on it. So we, uh, we caught him in a bit of a lie there. Um... A little bit of a fib, maybe you have a, what's it called, a boast. So planner gun and camera train, and it's all blended. Okay. One of these is enough to leave your face red like the actual planet. Okay, we got our drink. Yeah. 
He usually wants beers, but he wants something a little more spicy, manly, and strong. Here. Alright, I guess I'll believe your story. Right. Hey kid, I got wasted yesterday, so there's a certain protocol here. You mind telling me if I said anything someone could have used against me in a court of law? Let's complain about your investors can be used as a legal weapon. I don't think so. Oh, good. Fuck those sons of bitches. <laughs> what? Did I what did I tell you? How they wanted unreasonable stuff, how they feel like they have more power than you. More power than you do, and all that. Oh yeah, I recall something like that, but then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. That and racial slurs in German. <laughs> racial slurs in what? But let me tell you something. There are people who's worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. Excuse me? Your readers. If you think clients are always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest stuff and people will buy it if you're, you're the apple of their eyes. But make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. <laughs> yeah. That's the, uh, that's media for you. No chance of appeal. God forbids if they ever catch something you said out of context. So, it's kind of a bit... I mean, how old is this game? Like, a month ago we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars. Excuse me. Cougars in nearby forests. All because we got a pack of 40 year old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. They were having picnic parties in this, the same forest and thought we were writing about them. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damn namesakes. I mean, if Karens would eat other Karens, it'd be a, the world would be a better place. Yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. Yeah. A little thin-skinned, huh? You can't win, you always offend somebody. And while some take it graciously, many just love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of get, ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present the news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. Sure, let's go with that. Uh, I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but... Hearing it from him is kinda... Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview, and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Somebody delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason she did, just didn't. Had two days of negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? You have to pay them or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. Want something bitter to wake him up. I wonder if some alcohol would help too. You know, null him out. He's uh he's not very happy at the moment. Blowing off some steam. So let's go by flavor. We have sunshine and cloud. Uh bitter, girly, and soft. Um, it has optional karma training, so we can load it up with alcohol if we want to. Gut punch. Five Bronson extracts, one flatter guide with optional karma training. It's supposed to mean a punch made of innards, but the name actually describes what you feel while drinking it. Bitter, manly, and strong. Uh, I mean, that sounds like what he wants, but... Pile driver. Only four chemotrine. He doesn't burn as hard on the tongue, but you better not have a sore throat. We, we've served this before. Um, I want to try something different. The suplex is four bonds and extracts, three flannel guide, three chemotrine, all in the rocks and mixed. 
Small twist on the pile, pile driver. Put more emphasis on the tongue burning and less on the throat burning. Bitter, manly, and burning. Hmm. I mean, that'd knock him out, right? A gut punch wakes you up for sure. Pile driver would like. And a suplex would knock you out. So maybe not this. Uh, a grisly temple. Adelheid, Bronson Extracts, Powdered Delta, and a Camatrine. This one's kind of unbearable. It's mostly for fans of the movie it was used in. Bitter, promo, and bland. Nah. I don't know. I mean, I think this guy could use some sunshine. Light at the end of the tunnel kind of thing. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go with this. Um, so we want some rocks. Adelheid. We gotta blend it, too. An optional camatrine. How much uh, camatrine are we gonna put it in? <laughs> we could <can>, like... <laughs> you know, I kinda wanna see what happens. We can just load this thing up with like... So much alcohol. <laughs> this would mess him up. I kinda feel bad. Uh, um... Hmm... Blended, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to do them in. I kind of I feel bad. Oh, here? Yeah, this works just fine. You know, I feel like I should compensate the poor bastards that took the heart, the heat today. Oh, yeah, that that kid Joel, Gene Gilmero, Hirohito. I can't remember his name. The kid was always gushing about the idol I interviewed. I can't remember anyone. Anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So I don't know. I feel like I cock blocked and big today by taking his gig away. Worst of all, I left him to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. And that's something I wouldn't wish on anybody. Not even my worst enemies. Well, maybe two of them. You sound so considerate right now. I think we mellowed them out, huh? I'm not saying kid, but I'm a man. A man must never cock block another man unless he's trying to fuck your mom. What if it's your dad? Did I stutter? <laughs> Maybe you, you can get him tickets or something. Nah, see, that, that'd mean he'd be off work, and I need him to be at my beck and call tonight. I've seen that brat talk to, to no end about her, so... I know, I'll let him write about her somewhere else in the newspaper. Even the food critics call him. It's shit anyways. <laughs> That's so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. Thank you. Please come again. Maybe something interesting to see, I guess. That was, uh, tiring. Hey, Jill. I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep. Can't take the helmet off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take a Valkyrie-type White Knight helmet is not precisely a common query, you know. I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's proper t uh... What, did you run out of air? I just realized you served the Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> Shit, don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know, I know somebody that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris! I need some unclogging advice. Iris. I've heard Chief call her a couple times. Maybe she's a friend. More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will. Even if there's no god or Buddha, you can always trust the boss. Yeah. Let's hope you're right. Hey, honey. Can, I, can you see me? Uh, Dorothy? Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and, uh... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello? I guess talking to yourself is a common theme. <laughs> oh, hello Dorothy, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vic Jammer, not an optical uh, camouflage system. Uh, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or, or undressing? 
but I mean the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person is invisible. Uh, come again? There's people out there with fetish for invisible people. But you can only see a few articles of clothing floating around. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood them, my request. I asked him to bring me something that would make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too? With such a jammer or something? Hmm, yeah, I have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo module. Nano camo? Have you heard of nano cam? They're a military technology company that rec recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. You can order a module, then a uh, module from them and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It's quite precisely the last I checked, though. Almost. To the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie surrounding color... Surroundings colored blob. And we live and see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that talking about to yourself again? Uh, nothing important. What are you, uh, what are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. She wants a piano woman, simple enough. Now, I don't think we've served one of these. Um, five Adelides. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Bronson Extracts. Two Powder Deltas. Three flatter guides, flatter guides, and three chemotrains. Two, three. It's aged and it's mixed. And there's our piano woman. It was originally called Pretty Woman, but too many people complain there should be a piano woman if there's a piano man. A sweet promo happy and drink. Okay. One piano woman. Thanks, I love these ones, you know. I keep them for special occasions. Occasions, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good. That's nice. Okay, then, uh, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh? The ticket from Friday? Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice at and giving it to me. Too bad it was filled, it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would enjoy the drink here otherwise. I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they're... Improvised, so there really there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know, hmm? if you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep you fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. You pay him to uh, finish that sentence, and I'll make sure you truly become invisible. Fine. <laughs> Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh. Hey, John. Uh, Dorothy. Didn't you s didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey. What did he do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And you know. And you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. <laughs> Did I tell any lies? No, but never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss, why was she wearing a helmet? She found it, she put it on, and now she's stuck. Yeah, uh, randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. 
I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... <clears throat> a bit early for those stories, don't you think? Um, how did this say? Huh. A bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know? Yeah, but usually come before you start. Ah, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Really? Yeah, I go to his house at 11 a.m., dress as requested, and spend all day there. Play some games, casually tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Three years? Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part of his daughter's birthday. Wait a second, does he have a daughter or not? Dad, it seems she died four years ago. No? Yep, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody, I said not that. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. A moon, one moon blast coming up. That's a little creepy. Um, it's M, not B. Moon blast. Uh, six ad lads. I like this song. I might run this one again. Uh, Planner Guide, Hutter Delta, Two Camera Trees, Rocks, and Blended. No relation to Hutter and Cannon, you see. On the moon for one week every month. Sweet, girly, and happy. Here. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a, a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder if you like that. Something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single and don't mind that you're a girl. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. <laughs> anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC 72s look like kids? Yes and no. Out of factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory? Nope. Every fresh DFC 72 looks about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade. Once a DFC 72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Set upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know. Right now, I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have advantage. I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So if I stop looking underage, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? Uh, no. That's a dark hole you don't want to go down. I mean, maybe I'll go through with it if I ever decide to retire or something. Right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Good evening, Gil. Uh, Jill and Gillian, welcome to... Jill and Gillian. Uh, Dorothy, does that happen a lot? Not really. Uh, it would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Uh, call me Jules and I'll make sure every time you sit, you'll hear the cling of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in, in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey. Let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. <laughs> okay. I said it's being polite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Hey, honey. I have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay, let me get your orders. Alright, one big sunshine cloud and one gut punch. Press next after the first mix to make the second drink. 
make both before serving. Okay. So the game got a little harder. Um, so a big sunshine cloud. Um, one, two, one, two, and an optional cover train. On rocks and blended. Um, so to make it a big drink, it needs to have at least 10. So one, two, one, two. And we're already at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Camatrine. Um, let's go four. It's on the rocks and it's blended. Okay. That's our sunshine cloud. Um, and our next drink, you have to make a gut punch. Guide and some optional counter train. Uh, looks like everybody's getting drunk today. <laughs> Aged and next. Here and here. Thank you. Oh, in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Joel. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something uh, private? If you need a price list. I have a convenient card with updated fields. Or updated fees, man. I give you a discount if you pay for the next for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never asked before. Never been asked before. Is it true that DFC seventy two in line leaves tracking nano machines in the other person after a while? If they violate every hole in your body, regardless of its original purpose. <clears throat> yes. That's a semi myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking of machines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like. That way, the authorities can chase down the attacker. Kind of a buggy, though. I've heard stories of DFC 72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and bam. Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. Besides, I've modded myself so much that if any tracking of machines were still being released, I'd have to command their tenacity, to be honest. There's also this urban myth that those nanomachines help improve performance. That's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you what, and nothing more, young, young lady. Fine, see if I care. So bratty. Honestly, I'm gonna leave you with the meanie. Thank you, please come again. That girl is something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kinda hard to not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take my... Girl! I need your girly hands for a second here. <laughs> Coming! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can you take care of him? Why help her? Sure, no problem. I apologize if I'm taking time from a break. Nah, don't worry. Sorry, you'll have to deal with me. You no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. Mars Blast, Mars. Better not give him any other kind of blast drink by accident. Right. There's a moon blast here. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One powder delta, four flanner guides. Two camatrine and blended. Spicy, manly, and strong. Here. Bitter and mind-numbing, just like war. Have you been to war? That's a war we fight every day, Jill. So you haven't been to war. Not to an official one, at least. It's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how professional assassins could be so polite and pleasant to be around. 
I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've wondered, often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble. I don't raise suspicion. Finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of her things if I have anything but high. <laughs> Word salad. <laughs> She could take care of things if anything went haywire. Haywire, you? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind if you just said, uh, hmm. You wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn, I still don't know, then. Hey, you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left to a mystery. Which leads me to believe. She might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. <laughs> Man, our boss is a badass. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should, it's quite the show. Good news. Jill, the helmet came off and you can take your break. Finally. Always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break. Alright. Ah. <sighs> It's a good time to take a break, too. Rest my vocal cords a bit. Alright. And that's a break for anybody watching, too. So, see you next time.